somebody asked, what does it mean when a man you're dating never has time for you? We get straight to the point on this. The reason he never has time for you is because currently you are not a priority. One thing you got to understand about men in general is that they make time for what's important to them. If they if they on their grind right now and all they do is work, all they do is hustle, all they do is put all of their energy into whatever their craft is, that means that their craft, their job, making money is their priority. It don't always have to be a dark situation like he got a he got other women or he has a family that you know don't know anything about it could definitely be those things but the bottom line is if you don't hear from your man a guy that you're dating on the regular if you don't see him as often as possible you don't have to be every day but if you're in constant contact with him i mean if you're not in constant contact with him meaning you don't have days go by that uh you don't hear from him that means, I mean, if you don't have days, I mean, if you do have days, <laughs> y'all excuse me, <laughs> get it together, shoot. <laughs> if you do have days <laughs> where you have no conversation with him or he doesn't try to make an effort to see you, you're not his priority. And I'm telling you this because it's, I, I, I've been in that situation where I've tried to date or I might have had somebody that I was talking to and I constantly uh, had to reschedule or I just made really no effort to see them like that. You know, it was times where like with my wife, you know, I've told y'all that there's there's been times in the past where we dated and then, you know, for whatever reason, we weren't we, we went our separate ways one of those periods of time was because I was I had 50-50 custody I had kind of was new to getting having 50-50 custody of my kids right and I worked 60 to 70 hours a week and on top of that I was trying to start a, a Amazon FBA business and I was doing a lot of like self discovery personal development and stuff like that so there was a lot of times where she would want she would want to hang out, she would want to go on a date, or she would just want me to come see her. But by her being like 45 minutes away from me at the time, I rarely was able to get over there and see her. I would talk to her on the phone and stuff like that. But actually being able to get over there and see her at that period of time was... It wasn't that I didn't want to. It's just that there was things going on in my life that were more, more vital to me at the time. Like I, there, there was things going on in my life that were a little more important than being able to, to you know, travel 45 minutes one way to to visit a woman that I was I was dating at the time. Now I will say that there's levels of uh how much there's levels to this because i really did care for her it was just like i said it was things that were going on in my life that i had to prioritize over dating at the period of time right bottom line is what she did is what she should have did start dating somebody else right and i understood matter of fact i think i actually I, I think things got so bad between us that we actually had a conversation about it and we decided amicably to put a, a pause on our relationship at the time because I wasn't able to give her the attention and time that she needed. And I know that she needed that time. How you going to spend your time on the phone with somebody all the time, building feelings with some, for somebody, you know, and then never get a chance to actually hold them, never get a chance to hug them, never get a chance to sit down and have a meal with them and all that stuff. A woman needs that kind of attention. So I'm gonna tell you this, if you're somebody that's dating somebody and this person always tells you that they don't have time for you, even if they're not doing something that's like 
evil or, or dark or mischievous or whatever. Like, even if they ain't cheating on you or they entertaining a whole bunch of women, you still need to keep your options open. Don't take yourself fully off the market. Don't sit around waiting on somebody to finally make some time for you if you're not currently a priority. A man, if you're important enough, a man will make time for you. And until he makes time for you, you don't become exclusive with this person. And as simple as that. There's also other times where I can tell you where I was real busy and I was working a lot and stuff like that. And I might have entertained other women, but I knew that I wasn't able to give them the time that they needed. It was a, a matter of me still needing that 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 female interaction from time to time. I still needed to be able to talk to a girl on the phone. I still had certain needs that I, certain itches I was trying to scratch and stuff like that. It wasn't fair to them because I knew that I wasn't able to give them what they really needed before even approaching them. But I still did it. And y'all know how I am. I tell y'all the truth. I tell y'all about my past. I evolved. I'm not the kind of, I'm not that type of person no more. I wasn't entertaining multiple women, but there was times where I would be talking to a girl and uh, knowing that I couldn't give them everything that they needed at the time. So once again, and on top of that, I still was not able to be there constantly. I was not able to sit on the phone all day and talk to this girl. I wasn't able to, to uh, meet up with her all the time. I wasn't able to come visit. I wasn't able to take on dates and stuff like that all the time. So once again, if you're in this situation, this is why it's important for you to understand this because somebody might have good intentions, but they also may not. So either way, whether they got good intentions or not, if you ain't hearing from this person on a regular basis, you need to continue to do your thing. I ain't telling you to sleep around with a whole bunch of men. I would definitely not recommend that. <laughs> but if somebody approach you and they want to take you out on a date and you interested, you can do that and don't feel guilty about it. You and this person that's keeping you on hold, y'all ain't exclusive. If y'all were exclusive, you would feel like y'all was, was exclusive. He would be around more. He would be calling you more. He would be coming by. He would be making an effort to actually spend time with you. When you become a priority, that's what men do. They make time. We make time for the things that's important for us. Important to us. To this day, I'm always tired. I barely sleep. I probably sleep five, six hours a night. Why? Because I still work 60 hours plus a week. On top of that, I'm doing YouTube. It's so much, it's to the point where I'm multitasking. I edit videos and stuff like that and do certain things that I need to do for my channel while I'm at work. I hurry up, hustle, knock my work out. When I get a little break, I'm on the computer doing stuff that I need to do so that I can keep videos coming out for y'all. On top of that, I have a wife that I have to uh, pay attention to. On top of that, I have kids that need my attention as well. I, I make time for the things that's important for, to me. All of those things are equally, well, I ain't gonna say equally, but all of those things are important to me. So I make sure that I make time for all of those things. It don't matter how much, how tired I am, how much I have on my plate. I will pass over, I will pass on other opportunities some, to make sure that those three things that are most important in my life are taken care of. My wife, my kids, my channel. Those are the three things that take priority in my life right now. And I will miss sleep in order to make sure that I'm spending enough time on all three of those things. So that's all I got to tell y'all about that. Just make sure that you are not letting somebody keep you on hold because there's there is no guarantee that there's going to be a payoff on that. I just told you that in the past I was not able to make time for my my girl my wife that who was then my girlfriend at the time. I was not able to make time for her like I should have. We ended up breaking up. 
right? I knew she was a good woman. I knew that she was somebody that I definitely wanted to hold on to. I saw all of the value that I could, that I saw all the value that she had. I knew that she was my wife in 2018. But I knew that if I would have jumped in the, if I would have jumped on her and hey baby, I want you to be mine right now. When it was too soon, which I did a couple times and I found out the hard way that it was too soon, <clears throat> that relationship would have suffered. And I would have ended up losing her for good if I would have played on that last go round. I had to make sure that I had everything in order. I had to make sure that my schedule was, I had time for her. I had to make sure that my mind was right. I had to make sure that I had my, I was in my purpose. I had to make sure that I was, I was able to put in the work that I needed to put in to make sure that I was paying t attention to my purpose. I had to make sure that my kids were at an age where they didn't need constant attention all the time. All of those things, I had to make sure that I was going to be able to make her a priority before I decided now is the time to make her my wife. So y'all keep that in mind. But I'm going to go and cut this video off right here, man. I'll see y'all on the next one.